We present a new deep probabilistic approach to structured prediction for problems where dependencies between latent variables are expressed in terms of arbitrary dynamic graphs and describe an application to semantic mapping in robotics. Mobile robots are now capable of navigating in human-populated environments. However, to truly realize their potential, they must gain a deeper understanding of the human world, which is intrinsically dynamic and uncertain. As the robot navigates, it can incrementally construct and update a graph of semantic knowledge about the environment. We refer to such a graph as a semantic map. In our semantic map, nodes represent entities in the world, such as places and objects, and edges indicate spatial relations between the entities based on, for instance, a topological map. The robot collects local evidence about these entities based on its perception in order to infer distributions of latent variables of semantic attributes, such as place category. This process is called semantic mapping. The problem we address is the following. Can we learn general spatial relations between things in the human world and leverage them in the estimation of latent semantic attributes of entities perceived by a robot in its specific environment? In other words, we want to model the semantic map as a whole, a problem generally referred to as structured prediction. We know the semantic maps change and evolve. For modeling such dynamic structures, traditional template probabilistic graphical models are the first choice. They are probabilistic, generative, and interpretable. Unfortunately, inference in PGMs is generally intractable, and higher-order models pose a challenge even to approximate methods. Recently, several deep end-to-end -end approaches to structure prediction were proposed that offer remarkable results, particularly for high-dimensional visual data. However, they often place strict constraints on the interactions between inferred variables, requiring a fixed number of variables and a static global structure, and they are often not probabilistic. In our work, we leverage some product networks, or SPNs, a new probabilistic model which can be seen both as a deep approach and a new type of probabilistic graphical model with clear structure semantics as a hierarchical mixture of parts. In its simplest form, the network is a directed acyclic graph of alternating layers of weighted sum and product operations, as shown in the example here. Here, the SBN represents a naive Bayes distribution with three components over two binary variables, x1 and x2. The sum nodes can be seen as representing mixture models, with weights of each sum representing priors. The latent variables of such mixtures can be made explicit and their values inferred. Products can be considered compositions of parts. The bottom layers effectively define low-level features as in traditional deep architectures. Each sub-SBN is itself a distribution. SPNs are capable of learning conditional or joint distributions, with partition functions that are guaranteed to be tractable, permitting exact inference. In this work, we propose the graph structured sum product networks, or graph SPNs, a template based approach to structure prediction. A graph SPN is defined as a set of template SPN models. The template models represent learned general high-order relations between latent variables. These models are then applied to form a single distribution for a particular structured problem of arbitrary size in order to perform probabilistic inference. Let's see more concretely how we can learn a graph SBN. Suppose we have a set of training graphs that have different structures and come in different sizes with local evidence assigned to nodes. Here, we see a set of semantic maps with nodes annotated with semantic place attributes. We can partition these graphs into subgraphs using a predefined set of template subgraph structures. 
Then, for each substructure, we learn a template SBN end-to-end using the subgraphs as the training data. The set of template SBN models is referred to as a graph SBN model. With a trained model, we can now instantiate a graph SBN for a specific problem expressed as a graph. Starting with local SBNs modeling the dependency between local evidence X and latent variables Y. We partition the graph into subgraphs and for each subgraph instantiate the appropriate template SBN. In this example, we will use template SBNs trained for two node and three node subgraphs. We can partition the graph in a different way and instantiate the same template SBNs. We can then combine different template SBNs together using a product node such that the scope of each product node covers the graph completely. We end up with different SBNs for different decompositions of the graph, and we create a mixture model of decompositions using a sum node. In our experiments, we begin with a problem structured according to a topological map. For each node, a latent variable represents semantic place attribute. Additionally, it might have local evidence based on robust perception. We instantiate a learned graph SPN and infer the final values of semantic attributes by leveraging the spatial relations captured by the topology of the environment. Note that the inference results in the probability distribution of the semantic attribute. We used a dataset of 99 semantic maps obtained from 11 floors in three buildings in different cities. We performed cross-validation of training graph SBN model on graphs from two buildings and testing on the remaining building. Example semantic maps are shown here. In our first experiment, the task is to infer correct semantic information based on noisy local evidence. We introduce two types of noise. First, we randomly select 20% of nodes and associate it with incorrect evidence. In other words, the evidence will point to incorrect place class. Then the remaining 80% nodes are associated with evidence pointing towards the correct class, but the evidence can be very noisy. Importantly, for each latent variable, we infer the marginal distribution over its semantic attributes. The goal is for the model to correct the incorrect local information and strengthen the correct information. As a result, if the classification rate calculated over the entire graph is above 80%, that means the model can make corrections. Here is an example of inference behavior by graph SPN. The input graph on the left is noisified, where black nodes have incorrect local evidence. Comparing with the ground truth, we can see that graph SBN can correct a lot of the misleading evidence, while in fact increasing confidence for remaining evidence. Note that the nodes are classified by the most likely classes in the output. We observe similar results even when some places on the graph have missing local evidence. These graphs show classification rates for semantic attributes over places in the entire graph versus strength of noise applied to the local evidence. We see the graph SPN is much more resilient to increasing noise compared to traditional marker random fields whose performance drops rapidly. Moreover, the accuracy of graph SPN is mostly above 80%, indicating actual correction of noisy local evidence. In our experiments, we also showed that given a previously unseen semantic map, Graph SBN is able to detect whether the structure of the map comes from the original distribution or is novel. For this, we threshold the likelihood of all the local evidence over the entire graph. For more details, please refer to our paper. In conclusion, we introduced Graph SBNs, a new deep probabilistic model to structure prediction that leverages some part of networks. It is a general approach to model arbitrary dynamic graphs. It is capable to handle complex noisy variable dependencies. And it is able to perform inference based on instantiating template models that learn the general knowledge of variable interactions. 
and we applied GraphSBN to model semantic maps. Our ongoing work focuses on the integration of two of our recently proposed semantic environment models into a very deep representation from pixels to building structures. The representation consists of several layers, sensor information, local semantics, global topology, and semantics in the global context. For each layer, the general knowledge about the world is modeled using a sub-SBN. The bottom layers have been presented in our recent IROS paper. The top layers are learned with GraphSBN, together forming a single, very deep unified SBN model.